Casey, thank you so much for being with us today. I always learn so much when you come, and I'm, I certainly don't know very much about working with flowers, but I've, I've learned a lot. Uh, but we all have these tall vases, and other than just plopping a, mm -hmm. a bunch of a cluster of flowers in it, you're going to show us how to sort of organize this. Right, because it's nothing more frustrating when you have your your tallest beautiful flower and you stick it right in the middle of the vase uh -huh. and it just goes to the side. Uh -huh. So it's no fun. No. And then you <laughs> don't want to do any more after that. Uh -huh. So there's a couple ways you can make it easier. Uh, a more narrow vase is and always helpful. this is helpful. what you're going this to This is create. what we're going to do. And this is that organized with a grid across uh -huh. the top. And um, that way what's going to happen is sort of a paint by number sort of thing, fill in the blank sort of uh, oh. an arrangement. So we're going to make a grid over top of this and uh, it's just going to make it a lot easier to place your stems where you want them. So once you pop them in there, they will stay, stay. where you want them. And um, we're having a vase here that's a little bit of a flare on it, so it's going to give an, an, a little bit more of an opening. Mm -hmm. um, but in, to prep your vase, you want to make sure that it's dry. Have your water already in it, mm -hmm. and then dry it off, dry because it off. we're going to be using this special tape. Oh, this which, isn't just a scotch tape? No, in fact, if you were to tape. try that, which I had before <laughs> I knew, <laughs> um, once it gets wet, it will pop right off. Oh, okay. So this is waterproof. It's How, a florist it's tape. It's a florist tape, mm -hmm. and uh, you need to put it on, though, dry. So mm -hmm. everything has to be dry initially, but it will stay on even when wet. Oh, okay. And the way we do a grid is we don't want to put the first uh, one straight across the middle mm -hmm. because then we're going to miss a, a wonderful center the hole center. that we would mm -hmm. have for, to place a flower. So when you're going to do a grid, you're going to do uh, oh, sort center. of a checkerboard, uh -huh. and you want to be pretty liberal with going over the sides because you don't want it to undo. So uh -huh. we're just going to use our cutters and our tape, and you want to not lose that end either mm -hmm. each time you place it. So we're just going to crisscross over, kind of like that. And that's leaving like that a, center leaving so that, that we center. can put a mm -hmm. flower And we're just going to do four on a side. Uh -huh. And this tape actually does come a little thinner, so if you had a, a, a smaller vase mouth and you didn't want to cover it with such a wide tape, oh. then you can go a little thinner. More narrow. Right, uh -huh. more narrow, rather. Thank you. So we have our first set mm -hmm. done, and we have one, two, three, four, and then we're just going to turn it, Do the same make it thing. easy. Mm -hmm. And we want to remember to keep that middle open, so we're going to go a little bit to the side. And remember, get your, your uh, ends generously and over. And you don't even see. You're right. It disappears. Yeah. It I definitely didn't disappears. didn't realize that's what you mm -hmm. used. And then we just go across. And if you forget to add your water before, you can still <laughs> add it in there because act, once it's on there, mm -hmm. yeah, you can use a little spout, you can use a funnel, uh -huh. uh, you could just pour it in there, it might spout, splatter a little bit, um, yeah. but it won't come undone. Okay. Now, the other thing to remember is we really want to anchor this now so it doesn't come undone because sometimes we put our stems in, we might have to pull it out again and you don't want oh. the whole thing coming off. Likely not, but just to be on the safe oh. side, we do one rim around. And if you don't want to just turn that for me, that'd be great. And we just anchor oh, down. That just anchors those ends. Anchors all those uh -huh. ends. That's why, you know, be liberal with those ends and mm -hmm. have them really hang over there because you don't want to have to go back and fix it. So once you're around, give it a quick trim, push that forward, and you're ready to go. Mm. Now we're ready okay. to design. So we're going to use uh, a range of flowers today, and this is sort of a nice citrus collection, a little orange, lemon, lime. It's really pretty. Perfect for uh -huh. summer, a little bit whimsical, and it doesn't have to be so formal. The nice thing about the grid, too, like I said, you place it, and it stays. Um, but we are going to go with a little bit of a theory. We do tall and small and low and large, which tall is just and small, a great, low and large. Right, and just okay. a great way to remember how, mm -hmm. how things work. Tallest. And, then and, these the, are and a, wide. a nice base, because uh -huh. if we put our big china, a big uh, giant spider mums up top, then it would look really odd uh -huh. uh, the whole thing. So we want to kind of think like a pyramid, loosely, um, but it will it'll make it a difference uh -huh. uh, aesthetically. So we're going to use some carnations, and they're going to be our smallest, our tallest, smallest, because they're still really, really fresh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can open these though if we wanted to oh. make them fuller. You just pet them open a little bit, and it releases uh -huh. this other beautiful color which is all natural. These haven't been dyed. Absolutely oh, gorgeous color. That, that is pretty. You can't beat carnations. No. They last so long, too. They last long, they smell good, and, uh, and they come in so many colors. So uh -huh. we really do enjoy them. And um, we've got a couple here that are still really tight. So we're actually uh -huh. going to make those our two tallest. Okay. And, um, and the question is, how do you determine really how Height. tall you uh -huh. want to go? <laughs> so the rule is that you can go as high as double, if not triple, the height of your vase. 
Oh, wow. That is a good rule. Triple. Triple. I think mm -hmm. double might be okay in this manner uh -huh. um, because the taller you go, the more flowers you need to fill in sure. all of your things. And if you only have a limited amount of flowers, it's easier to stay a little bit on the low side. And if you're just starting out, try it just double. Right. <laughs> okay. yeah, it can be a little intimidating <laughs> otherwise. So what we're going to do, I've removed the greenery, which on carnations isn't that abundant. Mm -hmm. They're usually at each little um, hinge or gap here, they've got, they've got a collection of greenery, and we just pulled that right off. No thorns uh -huh. uh, with carnations, Thank so goodness. easy to clean. So I'm going to probably take a little bit off this just mm -hmm. to bring it down a bit, and I'm going to send it right in the middle. And what we're going to do is I'm going to give it a trim at an angle because mm -hmm. we don't want it sitting flat at the bottom of the vase. And we're just going to place it right in there. That hole we left is the pl first place to start. Right. Mm -hmm. So here. You get to put your first stem in and it doesn't go off to the yeah. side. And then we can build from here and we can just start adding flowers in to surround our carnation. We can do three or four more carnations. We can do it in the hole surrounding it. Uh, or we can even put a couple in the same hole because mm -hmm. um, there's enough space there. So let's go ahead and take another one and just, you know, just line it up very good right off the edge of the table. See where the head meets and then just give it a trim. I'm just going to place this one in right next to it. Yep, should right in right. there with it. Wonderful. Now should that one be a little shorter? It could shorter? be a little shorter, but we can keep them both we'll up make there. This That's one a, a nice pair, short. and then we can go somewhere in between. And we'll do uh, a few of our carnations. We'll do one more carnation, and then we'll add some more. We'll move on to our next flower and our next level. Okay. Go you ahead want and tuck one that more in? in sure. It? Okay. Yep. Wonderful. That's great. And these will, we'll be able to have these stand up a little mm -hmm. bit more, too, once we get more flowers get the in flowers there. Mean. But at least they're staying where we want them. The next flower we're going to add are called chrysanthemums, and there's a huge mm -hmm. family of chrysanthemums. Uh -huh. And these are in particular called pom-pom mums, and they have these uh, one stem again, and there's tons of things going on here at the end of it, which make it really fun and interesting and at different levels. And this, is, they come in other colors? They do. Uh -huh. They come in a pink and purple, yellow and white, uh -huh. and those are available year-round, and they last forever. So this is a nice arrangement to get to work together because they'll have a nice long vase life. Uh -huh. uh, in the fall, the growers grow them in colors that are only coming out of the fall. Burgundies and browns Brown, and just so gold. pretty. Uh -huh. These particular ones are called Kermit Mums. Kermit. So, and I especially like these. I like that. I do too. So we're going to come in a little bit lower than our carnations mm -hmm. because our carnations are our face flower, one of our focal flowers. We need to come in a little bit lower. So we're going to mm -hmm. line up, see where it is, give it a trim, and then we'll pop it in maybe into a same hole that the carnation is there. Mm -hmm. And start to tuck and in that way. And that's starting to hold the carnation. It's starting to hold the carnations uh -huh. up. So let's put a few of these around, coming in around the middle section, because we have really large flowers that we're going to do last and low. We'll just pull those off. And if you have any that are really low on the stem, like this one, I may go ahead and just remove that off. Oh. And then I'll put uh -huh. it aside and maybe make a bud base. No. Oh. Oh, those are always fun. There are always leftovers when you're doing flowers. And we don't throw away anything. We I like bet you to. Don't. <laughs> we use everything, and then maybe it is a bud vase that we have, and it ties in uh -huh. to an arrangement that we did. And then it's setting in another room, and you have guests over, and they think, "Oh my goodness, everything! All the flowers are so nice and tied in together." And it's just such a wonderful Whoops. way to uh, to stretch stretch whatever flowers you might have. Yep, put those around there. Beautiful. They can go right in. Very nice. And let's do the next one right here, and we'll go a little oh, bit on the okay. lower side and fill in a little bit of this interest. Uh, rather, chrysanthemum greenery doesn't really hold up too long when it's been uh, after that's been cut from the plant. Uh -huh. So it's good to remove it just because it's going to get really dry and kind of broken up uh, shortly after. So you want to just not keep it on there. And it's just, uh, you're not going to see much of the greenery anyway once we uh, get oh, this all yeah. arranged. I'm going to stand up and our there's several of these here. little buds mm -hmm. that will open up. And they're still going to open mm -hmm. up. Right, perfect. Okay. So we have this great beginning. Now, these are called spider mums, which are kind of hard to tell because they're right. actually shipped I in, never seen that. in these nettings, which is really important because if you get a bunch of these together uh, and all the nettings are removed, all the petals Fall intertwine, apart, intertwine. Yes. Uh -huh. and then you try to separate them, and they go flying. I love the spider mums. They're so really airy fun. And they fun. are. They are <laughs> wonderful, and these come in also year round in the white and green and uh, and the purpley color mm -hmm. as well. And same same deal. Um, remove all the greenery from 
the chrysanthemum. Mm -hmm. And here, we're going to go pretty low. We want it to be our collar around, so we don't really but need... But you're not taking the net off yet. Not yet. We're oh, going to okay. place them first and then pull, uh -huh. which makes it really more dramatic. Yeah. And so we want these to sit just a, not too, not right on the uh -huh. rim of the vase, a little bit higher than that. So I'm just going to stand this one up. I'm going to cut almost all of it off, but I'm still needing to cut one more time, but just to make it easier, since we want all these exactly the same. So, oh, let's this just, will be our measuring. Yes, let's just line these up. Okay. And let's cut all of those the same length, give all the heads there, and we can do them all. And we're still going to give them one more cut before we place them in the vase, but at least now we have them all the same length. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and test one. So let's see, where, whereabouts is this going to fall in here? A little bit this of greenery on good. there. Ooh, oh, I like that a lot. We're I not going to take too much off of that one. So I'm going to pull him back out. But, because and we the let only reason we're cutting it again is to open it up. Yes, because okay. stems do seal up in about 10 seconds. So mm -hmm. we're just going to give very little touch of a cut there. Sharp angle and slide that right back in there. And we're going to go around the whole vase. There we go. Slide one in there. I'll get this side. And your tape might get a little bit mangled in and out, but it's strong and sturdy and we'll hold it. Go ahead and slide that one in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just twist your stems a little bit because it's going to get crowded oh, down there. Yeah, there it goes. Wonderful. And then from here, Let's go ahead and uh, add our solidago, which we're going to go in between our, oh. our, uh, our little spider mums, and then we're going to release our spider mum stems. These can be a little bit taller, just sticking right in between them. Mm -hmm. A couple there. Go ahead and pop that one in, and I'll okay. put this little guy over here. <laughs> and turn that around. And then let's release our spider mums oh, yes, and then see what else do. we need to add yeah. in for our carnations. So go ahead, if you want to pull that top of the net, you just pull it right off. There oh. we go. And oh, fluff that pretty. open. And it's instant joy. That's the most fun part is opening <laughs> the spider mums. And that one. Wonderful. Oh, how beautiful. So then from here, you just want to take a look at your arrangement. And now you have all those stems in there that uh -huh. as you move things around, they're actually going to stay even better. Mm -hmm. And then you see where, where you're still then might you be just missing add things. To it if and then you, you add it. in a few more carnations here or there. And then if you have any more of the your mums as well. Well, thank you so much, Casey, for showing us how to do this. And, you're welcome. And especially about using the correct tape to start with. Yes, that's important. Otherwise, it'll be frustrating and then defeats the purpose of making the that's grid. That's right. And this is beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you.